Now, Danny Jacobs want to be the tough guy. You know, he, now he wants to try to act like he's the one that's hunting the Charlo fight. The Jamal Charlo fight to be exact. We back with the boxing clinic and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. Y'all know what we do. Talk all all sports and all real shit. We we'll back on this boxing ground right now. And, um, you know, now Danny Jacobs saying he, he really want to push the fight for Jamal Charlo to prove that um, he's the king of Brooklyn after Jamal Charlo said he was the king of Brooklyn and disrespected Danny Jacobs. But where was his ambition um, in the past when Jacob, when Charlo was calling him out? When, Jar- when Charlo was at the bar and he said he'd knock out him and Triple G in the same night. When he when, when he continued to call out Triple G before the Arias fight. When, when I mean call out uh, Jacobs before the Arias fight. When he disrespected Jacobs all the way up until then. Then people say, well, Danny Jacobs pulled up on him in, in this, that, and third. And, and, and all that motherfucker said was he was touching M's. You know, he didn't say send a contract. He ain't said we could fight next. You know, he didn't do nothing. He didn't say nothing. But a whole bunch of bullshit that wasn't even said. Well, they said that you said. And Charlo was like, I ain't say that. I ain't say that. They lying. People said, oh, he punked Charlo. How did he, how did he punk Charlo? I'm touching M's. I'm touching M's. That's all he said. You know what I'm saying? And now he want to play like he he mad because the guy said he, he the king of Brooklyn and want to play tough. You know, make the fight happen. That's all I got to say. I don't want to hear nothing about Eddie Hearn getting in the way because Eddie Hearn didn't want him fighting Jamal Charlo. I got the articles to prove it. And at the end of the day, um, he wants to smoke. Let's give him that Texas smoke then, man. Because I've been telling y'all, Danny Jacobs, is, is been a, he's been a perpetrator, man. He's been a pretender, you know. He been he been in, he was in line with some of them, them weak fake you know guys that y'all pumped up to say oh he was this he was that, you know motherfucker ain't shit. He ain't never did shit, never beat shit. He beat Triple G in my opinion, but guess what? I don't hold him to a higher high standard as well. I don't be like oh shit Triple G this all time great like y'all hopping his nuts man. Motherfucker ain't shit. He can fight, but he ain't did shit, and I stand on that. But they want to be serious. Call, make the fight happen. He said, well, uh, Charlo didn't call me out in his last fight, man. And, you know, of course, that motherfucker just won a WBC interim title. So he wanted to get the real title, you know, at this point. Before this point, y'all could have fought in April. Y'all both fought a week apart. Y'all could have fought for the WBC interim title. And I'm pretty sure Danny Jacobs was offered that interim title fight that Hugo was uh, offered because he was number two in the rankings. Now, obviously, we know Canelo wasn't fighting for the WBC last September. His beef went on. He was lined up for a triple G fight. So, so the end. I'm mean, pretty sure they they passed it by Eddie Hearn here and the team Danny Jacobs here said let's make it happen. And he passed on it. So at the end of the day, man, he had his opportunity. Um, you know, Charlo was trying to get the full triple G belt, and you know it is what it is, man. You know, he said he didn't call me out. You didn't call him out after the Luis Arias fight. We all both could have fought for the WC interim title. You didn't call him out. Go back and watch it. He didn't mention Dan and Charlo. And Charlo was calling him out way before the end. Way before the end. So all these niggas want to act, you know, he want to act like he tough. You know, now now he want to act like he tough because he ain't got nowhere to turn now. He ain't got nobody to fight. He ain't fight Gary Spike O'Sullivan. Now his back's against the wall, and he got to find an opponent that can help him sell out somewhere or or put more than half the arena, put that half the arena, put asses in half the arena. And the only person that's available that's going to put asses in half the arena is going to be Jamal Charlo. You know, that's what this is about. Danny Jacobs need an opponent to help him sell. In Brooklyn, in his hometown, his native hometown in in Brooklyn, he can't sell half the arena out. With another Brooklyn native and Jamero Miller. They couldn't sell, sell half the Barclay arena out. And people want to make excuses for him saying, well, uh, you know, Broner is a bigger star. And we all know the fuck. How, how can somebody be a bigger star when you've been a professional longer than Adrian Broner in your hometown of Brooklyn, New York? How? How can he be a better pool, a younger fighter? And you done came back from a great success story of uh, 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 cancer. And Fat Baby Miller, he on the rise. So y'all couldn't put more than 7,000 seats in, 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 in the arena. And Broner pulled about 14 bands in the arena. It was 2,000 away from, from selling out him a tank. 
Fuck out of here. And they need somebody to help them sell. But Danny, Danny, Eddie Hearn is losing money fucking with Danny Jacobs. Say that right now. He losing money fucking with Danny Jacobs. I said, he losing money. The numbers ain't what they thought he was. He wasn't the draw they thought he was in, in New York. They giving him meals and they taking losses. So, you know, like I said, now he needs Jamal Charlo now. Because ain't nobody else out there that's going to help him sell that shit out. Jeva Janko, Sergey Janko, they got the same coach. He said, I'm going to think longer hard about fighting him. Andrade, he ain't shit. He ain't trying to fight Danny Jacobs. He said, I look at him as a big brother bullshitter. Billy Joe Saunders want too much money. You know, because he be reasonable with Danny Jacobs, yeah. But he's probably going to have to go down in the U.K. And then he said he don't mind fighting in the U.K. But the thing is, Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn don't get along. So Jamal Charlo is his only, they only pick to really be a sale and be a pull in Brooklyn and to pull a big card. And if I'm Jamal Charlo, I want more than half of the percentage. Since y'all niggas need me, I want more than half. Since I'm bringing the interim title belt, I'm, bringing, I'm, I'm, I'm the A-side here, not y'all. We control the board here. And if y'all can't stomach that, shit, I'll take another fight in Houston, fight somebody else and wait for my shot versus Triple G. I know what it is, TBC and more. We go.